Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add video backgrounds onto your website. So video backgrounds are really, really powerful because you can use it as a design element and uh, design unique or different types of websites by adding these video backgrounds. So we see these on a few uh, big websites out there. So today I'm going to show you how to add your own video backgrounds on your own website. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themed layouts and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by creating a brand new page. For this tutorial, I'll be using WordPress and Divi because uh, these two are quite easy to, uh, to achieve these video backgrounds. So let's jump onto my computer. Let me show you how that works. Right, so right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. So let's just call this page video BG. We're going to click on use the Divi builder. Now I'm clicking this option here because I already have Divi installed. Now, if you're not sure what Divi is, this is a page builder. In fact, it's one of the best page builders out there. It has a lot of features. And by the way, it has a lot of offers, uh, especially with the Black Friday. I have a special link. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the uh, full Divi Blueprint 3 course, a course that teaches you how to use Divi. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I also have a free WordPress course. The link to that is in the description below. All right, so moving on, I'm going to click here on Use the Divi Builder. And then I'm going to click on the visual builder. Now, this is where all the action happens. So here we are presented with these three options. So I'm going to go ahead and build this page from scratch. Now, we also have options to use a pre-made layout or build from scratch. In fact, you know what? Let's build this from a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here. So now we are going to have a list of pre-built page layouts. So now this is really cool because we can choose a layout here based on the type of website that we will be creating. Like for example, if you take a look at this one here, uh, this could be for a travel agency. So if you're designing a website, which is you know uh, pretty much close to that, you can go ahead and use this. Okay, so there's quite a lot there. If we take a look here at the top, there's 661 total layouts, and there's also quite a lot being added on every single week. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and choose this farmer's market. And uh, I'm going to go with this layout right here. So I'm going to click on use this layout. So what's going to happen now is all the contents of that page are going to be installed onto my page. And all I have to do now is to go in and make some adjustments and change the uh, content on this page. So as you can see, this is everything that we have about uh, this layout. So if I scroll down here, look, we have all this content here ready for us. So this is really cool. So in a real world scenario, this is where you'd go in and delete these images and replace these images with your images. Okay, so, but we're not going to do that right now. This is all about video backgrounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the top left to the section settings. I'm going to click this gear icon and then I'm going to click on background. So if we click this filter button here, we can actually tell how this was modified. So if we say modified styles, we can see here there's an animation, um, there's the animation intensity and so on. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this fourth tab. Now this fourth tab here it gives us the access to add our video. So as you can see here, it says add background video. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Now what I've already done ahead of time is I've gone ahead and uploaded my video into my media library. So here it is. So in your case, you would need to click on upload files, select files, and then navigate to the folder which has your video file. Uh, towards the end of this video, I'm also going to give you some tips on what size videos you need to use for this to work efficiently. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, select my video, click upload a video. So this is the video here that's going to be uploaded, as you can see. Right, so for now, I am done. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, what I need to do, and now this is specific 
to this layout. I'm going to go in and remove this image that we have here so our background image can be shown. So I'm going to click here on module settings. We're going to come over here to background and we can see here that this is where the background uh, is. So I'm going to delete that. And now you can see that our video is now showing in the background. Okay, so it is easy as that. Uh, all you have to do is to make sure there's nothing covering this video. So what I'm going to do now, because obviously this might be a bit confusing for you, I'm also going to add another section and just show you how to do that without doing these extra steps. Okay, so now that we have this, you can play around here with the, um, with the gradient. So if I come over here, I can increase the intensity of the gradient, as you can see here, like that, and that looks good. So the text here is easier to read. I can only save, and now it's done. We've added a video background, and now I can publish the page. Okay, so I'm going to exit the Visual Builder here. And now we can see that our video is playing and also the text is easier to read. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and build this quickly without actually using a pre-made layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here, click uh, new page. Okay, so I'm going to get na name my page quickly. Okay, let's just call this VBG. Uh, use the Divi Builder. In fact, before I do that, over here on the bottom, we have this uh, convert kit. And let me just disable this. Uh, we won't need any of that for this tutorial. So I'm just going to publish the page for now. And then I'm going to go into the Visual Builder. Okay, so I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder. Use Visual Builder. So just like before, we're going to be presented with these three options. So this time, I'm going to build this page from scratch, just in case you want to know how to do it yourself. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by adding two columns. So the column structure I'm going to add is one third, two thirds. Okay, so here I'm just going to add a call to action. I'm going to select it here. So this is our call to action. Now, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to leave everything as it is, and then I'm going to come back in and make some adjustments to that. Right, so I'm going to save this for now, and then let's add our video on this section. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on background, all the way down here to our fourth tab, click this plus button to add our video, and then select the video. I'm going to click upload a video. So now my video has been added. The next thing we're going to do now is to just save this and then we're going to come back over here. But this time we need to go into the row settings. OK, and I'll tell you why. So in this row settings, what we need to do is to add some margins. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on spacing. Now, the reason why we're adding some margins here is because we want to see more of the video, as you can see here. Uh, we can't even see uh, the, uh, the full video. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to uh, click on this chain because this chain allows me to add the equal amount of pixels to both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do that by just increasing this. So now you can see we're starting to see more of this video. So we can stop maybe right here, okay, where we can see um, the whole video. So that's great. I'm going to save now. Now we can go in and make adjustments to this message. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So as you can see, this one here already has a background. So we're going to come over here and choose our own background. Now, what I suggest for this is to use a background which has a bit of transparency. So to achieve the transparency is first choose the color. I normally go with black or sometimes I go with white. So let's see how this looks. So what you do is you can experiment with this and see which option is better. So here we have this um, black, which we're adding transparency to, or you can switch this to white, and then now you have this white transparency. So all you have to do now is to go in and change your text color. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool, and then we're gonna change our font color to black, all caps, we're going to make it um, ultra bold. 
Next, we're gonna come over here to, this, uh, to the description text. Same thing, make it black. And here we're gonna make it semi-bold so it's easier to read. So that's it, you know, that's our message. That's our video. And of course, if you are continuing with your uh, web des uh, page design, you can also add more elements by just clicking this plus button, clicking on regular, and then you can start adding your, your content. So in this case here, we could add maybe a blurb here, uh, add an icon to it. So let's go with, um, I'm just gonna choose a random icon here, like that. So now you can go in and start customizing the icons. You can start customizing all the content that you need to add on there. But anyway, the most important thing is this video background. So this can be done to your existing website. You can actually go in and uh, add these video backgrounds. Now, I did promise that towards the end of the video, I'll be giving you some tips on which types of uh, videos and the sizes to use. Right, so what you wanna do is to keep your video at about uh, five to seven seconds because this video is going to be looping. The idea with the video background is not to have a long video playing because that's not the major focus of what is going on in your website. We are using these video backgrounds as a design element. So this is why you need to keep it short and the video background also needs to give an idea of what your website is about. So once you've done that, um, you can just upload it onto your media library and then use it that way. And also, the size that you need to use is 1080, uh, 1080p, which is 920 by 1080 pixels. So that's the best size to use because you don't want your videos to be pixelating because it takes away from uh, a good design layout. Okay, so today's episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of DV themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and bell notification. This is a channel where I talk about web design and how to make your websites look awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.